Explosive barrel? Explosive barrel. Exploded barrel! Oh, he was dancing! He was on See, fire! See, you're a badass! Oh my god! <laughs> He's just up on top of a fucking... Up on top of a thing with a light machine gun just screaming, Come on, you bastards! Give you more you won't believe! <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, thank God for Zed! Don't worry, Shepard! I got you. I'll kill ya! Okay. I'm gonna rip out your fingernails! Wait, do humans have fingernails? Fuck! <laughs> Doesn't know if we have fingernails! <laughs> I love it! I love it! Oh man, that's a good joke. <laughs> Alright, I'm working on it! I'll just rush over here. Boop! That's good, that's good. Do you think flip the switch? Shield down. Shut down. <laughs> oh god, take cover, fortify! For oh, oh no! Okay, it's fine. It's uh yep, that was a consequence. Yep, you're dead. Um Do you wanna kill that guy before he gets over here? Okay, you got it. <laughs> I suppose it's Ah dog! <laughs> That actually kind of surprised me. <laughs> like, legitimately, I just heard a dog, like, growling, and I was like, what is that? I'm gonna reload. Oh boy, dog, 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 dog. I don't like dogs, I don't like dogs, I don't like dogs. It's a Varen. I don't like alien dogs. Yes, fire pistol. Garrus, I'm sure, oh my god, Garrus is taking a lot of damage. He's taking a decent amount of damage. I mean, he might die if you take too long with this. It's fine, though. I believe in you. Miranda, you need to keep Garrus safe, and then the, you, the two of you will become best friends, and eventually lovers. Commander Shepard, uh, did I hear it right? You say Garrus is one of your best friends, and if I kill him, I'll take that spot in your team? No! No, Miranda! Not what I said! You want me to execute Garrus? No, Miranda! Not saying that! Because you love money! No, Miranda! <laughs> good, good. There you go. Alright, we are set. Zed, you are doing a great job. You are so far probably my favorite team member, except for Garrus, but that's because Garrus hasn't been on my team yet. <laughs> what, you don't like Jacob anymore? More Jacob's good, but I like Z. Alright, saving. I'm really trying to help you out here, Garrus. I gotta kill a bunch of goblins first. <laughs> they kind of are, aren't they? Yeah! When are we gonna get some meat? Wait and not to eat but meat or but maggot eat bread in three days! I love to cook my meaty maggot here! What? <laughs> <laughs> it launched me up! Oh, I'm gonna die! That was worth it! That was worth it! Oh, that was totally worth it. Oh, those pyros are always the death of you. That was worth a death just to see myself get launched up. Alright, they're really close range, so we're gonna activate that. And we're gonna switch to shotgun. It should still be active, right? Yeah, it's on. You know, a shotgun is not normally a weapon you would use for, quote, long range. It's fine, it's fine. Die, all of you die. Well, you're doing a good job of doing that. <laughs> we both <laughs> pop up at the same time. He's like, whoa, 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 wait, just shut up. <laughs> you die, ow, I die. <laughs> all right, Zed. Get up there. <laughs> you think it was bait? No, man. I think there might be a pyro up there. Why don't you go over there, Zaid? Pyro's dead. This guy's dead. Ow, ow, fire, fire hot. Ah! Where'd he go? I see a <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zaid. You move up, then I'll move up. I got you covered. Okay, now. Oh, Zaid, what are you doing? Oh, wow, he actually ducked. Yeah. Holy shit! Zaid, you're the best! <laughs> Ooh, Garrus is down about half health now. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna seal it soon. Who's next? Oh, here comes the pyro. That might be a bit, bit of an issue. That's fine, he's dead. Maybe if he explodes, he'll take out his team. No. There you go. Oh, and I ran out of ammo right at that second, too. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Oh, one of them's already here. One of them already got through somehow. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. The slippery little buggers. I uh, ripped them to shreds. Uh, Miranda. Oh no, it's Garrus. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. I'm gonna be so mad if he dies. Ah! Oh no, I'm back. And I'm glowing. That's because you're using fortification! 
All right. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Zed can't use that yet. Yeah, it's on cooldown. All right, this is gonna be a really big mistake. But I love mistakes. But I love mistakes. Yeah. That's good, except the boss is there and he's a little tougher. Oh yeah. And I'll warp myself out of the room. That's smart. And take cover. You're smart, except for that guy who's aiming right at you because. Oh no, I'm reloading. Oh shit, I missed. Oh my god, I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. Fortify. Fortify. Yes, I know Garu has you pinned down. I have large problems. <laughs> and take cover behind this couch. It's clearly bulletproof. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm taking too much damage, Shepard. I know you're taking too much damage. I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. Shepard, I'm sorry. You're my favorite. Shepard, Miranda's not really helping at all. Why did you leave her with me? That's all right. Garm's dead. We killed Garm. Where's Miranda? What were you doing, Miranda? My job. Oh God, I bet. Come find me. I, I'm right here. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. I bet it does. He was one tough son of a bitch. Oh, you knew him? You fought with him before? He actually... Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. His weakness was being set on fire. His weakness was being set on fire. Should we go? Only the blue suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Oh, gunship! Get your head down. Damn it. Oh boy! Oh, took that oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! He just ran over. They Shepard, get your head down. Complete. I made sure of that. That's right. You oh, sabotaged it. Oh, he didn't sabotage the troops, though. He goes. All right, switch. We'll switch to the machine pistol for now. Why are you not using the phalanx pistol and use the sniper rifle? God. Yeah, but God, this thing's hard to control. <laughs> so put a muzzle brake on it. Oh, I gotta run away, gun. Help, help, help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I put a recoil on that one. Not the most accurate weapon. That's not what I wanted you to do, but sure. Where'd he go? They're repelling down the side wall. Right oh, floor. wrong floor. Oh, they're in the building. Uh oh. Uh, down here? Looks like they're. Yep, there they are. Jeez, this <laughs> pistol! You'll find a better machine pistol eventually. Oh my god, I do not like this machine pistol. It's ridiculous. A lot of recoil, yep. It's like a freaking Beretta 93R on just methamphetamine. <laughs> I guess that's one way to describe it. I, the majority of my shots are misses. The ones that are hitting are actually working, but the majority of my shots are missing horribly. Yup, that they are. It's fine though, I mean, it's four against however many are coming up. It'd be more effective if they rush you at once, but yeah, one at a time, trickle in, see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Garrus, I'm sorry, I killed one of the people of your own race, but you probably don't actually care that much. <laughs> You can't die! You're my favorite alien! Other than Tali! You're my favorite alien that I don't want to have sex with! <laughs> this is not very effective. It's okay, it's doing some damage. I mean, it's got a lot of health, a lot of armor. It's a heavily armored gunship, after all. Use a concussive shot, and you use this. Don't know how effective a concussion shot is going to be, but yes, throw everything you got at it. Oh crap, you just concussive shot on me, you gotta get out of here. Oh god, more of these guys. Seriously? I yeah, just dropping off a couple reinforcements, no big deal. No more reinforcements! <laughs> what the hell is that? This death gurgle. Are this they coming in from down here now? Is that what's going to happen, or is it this ship? Oh, here's the gunship again! Where, where are they? It's right there! I don't know if you can see it, but it's firing at your face! Oh god, I'm out of ammo for that, I'm out of ammo for that. Okay, well, I probably should have saved the rocket launcher for this. Huh? <laughs> probably, yeah. That's alright, I think you got this. Whoa! And there it goes! Fire damage! D O T, bitch. Three letters. Department so of much Transportation. Damage. No, Gary! 
Yes! Oh no. Did I literally fail this? If, did he actually die? Okay, good. Garrus. Quick, heal Garrus. I'm getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Oh, that doesn't sound Joker. good. Make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. He better make it, otherwise I'm done playing this game. <laughs> I make that threat a lot. For a game series you really don't have a whole lot of investment in, you seem to threaten to quit it if nothing goes your way. Yeah, because I'm a big old baby. All right, close this report because I don't care. <laughs> Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad don't hit. Don't you dare say it's up to God now. <laughs> the doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... But what? Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh... uh let me... Uh, look up a little bit to the left. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of a really funny joke. Um... No worse than usual? <laughs> Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. That's a good point. I hope his armor isn't fucked up for the rest of the game, but it is kind of cool. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? We don't have to trust them, and you've got my back. Now that I have Garrus here, I got a loose cannon cop on my side. Garrus, you're coming with me on every mission. Commander, my, my face is still very, very sore. My face is very, very sore. Every hurt. mission. Every mission. <laughs> <laughs> He's still licking his face. Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. You might want to get your armor replaced. I'm sure we can get you some new armor that doesn't have... Holes <laughs> a giant in. gaping hole in it. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no! <laughs> the ship cancer! Run away! <laughs> run away from the ship cancer! That's all for now. <laughs> So apparently running away from the ship cancer works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Garrus. Garrus is a fan of, of apparently of the three-round burst sniper rifle, so I question his judgment. Yeah, firing it does more damage. Firing three shots with each pull of the trigger, the burst is so fast that all rounds will be at the target by the time the barrel. Oh, so apparently its three-round burst has no recoil. Oh, so it's like the uh, it's like the AN94 where it fires two rounds before the recoil of the. The first round has hit the rip the back of the stock. I guess so. I wasn't. I've always thought that weapon was completely stupid because I'm pretty sure there is recoil on it. Well, like the AN94. Okay, so the this is completely off topic. The AN94 um, is this really goofy looking rifle that the barrel actually recoils to the rear when it fires, and the bolt does too. But then the bolt goes back into battery, chambering another round and firing it. So when you put it on two shot burst, it has a fire rate of something like. I'm probably going to get this way wrong, but its fire rate is something like 1,800 rounds per minute <laughs> wow. on, on two-shot burst. So it's you're only firing two shots with each pull of the trigger, but it's firing two shots at 1,800 rounds per minute. So by the time the recoil has hit your shoulder, both rounds have gone out of the barrel. I wasn't aware that was an actual mechanism. It is. It's really goofy. It's Russian space magic. And... <laughs> It's completely insane if you take one apart and look at the inside of it because it's like weird reels and coil mechanisms and it uses, I am not kidding you, a steel cable and a pulley mechanism on the inside of a rifle. That is obscene. It's completely ridiculous. You've piqued my interest. I have to look at this now. The AN-94 is completely insane and also, just to add to the weirdness, the magazine is at an angle coming out of the bottom of the gun. Like, to the side. Yeah, like, to the side. Like, the magazine, not like a 45-degree angle, but if you're holding the grip like this, the magazine is sticking out to the left of the rifle. Right. Uh, that's a bit peculiar. It's a really weird rifle, and also the muzzle brake on the front of it looks like two snails. 
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. That's great, Kelly. Tell me about Garrus. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Garrus is real tough. He's a loose cannon cop with nothing left to lose and a devil may care attitude. <laughs> He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him dead. What I said was better. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Mmm. Maybe Kelly could be in the Garrus. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. I like uh, Garanda a little bit more, but Gar- Garelli. Kelly, you, uh, you in the aliens? Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything That's else? That's very you? progressive of you, Kelly. I like you more and more every day. That'll be all. Take care. Oh, I should see what my email is. Get a beggar pen 15 to die. Ah, God damn it, it's more. <laughs> you jest, but there are messages like that that you will receive. I think I met you at. Oh, Aria gave him this address. God, how, many... how much do you have to pay her for that? You stopped me from joining up. With those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. I got blind drunk that night and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw almost all his mercs had been killed by Archangel. Yeah. So he's just very grateful that he didn't get killed thanks to your Paragon attitude. Yay! He's happy. Hey Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know if you do or don't like him. He was my favorite, what with that pole up his ass. He was a bit more of a stick in the mud in the first game before you made him all renegade cop. He was a bit more of a stick in the mud in the first game. What does Morden have to say? Shepard, how can I help? Uh, tell me about yourself. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Well, I'm glad somebody likes the ship cancer. <laughs> you said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Do you remember Kirihi? Vaguely? He was the green-faced Solarian that wanted one of your crew members to help him out while you were blowing up that genophage facility. Oh, yeah! He had a big speech about holding the line. Yeah, I do remember that. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. He died? Dedicated. Yeah, he died. Bit of a cloaca, though. Love That's a bit of a cloaca. Line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> bit of a cloaca, though. Do they have a cloaca? Yeah. Oh, okay. Solarians have cloacas. Okay. And they what lay they, eggs. I wonder if a lot of the Oh, they do? Yep. Weird. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Uh, let me see if I got the gist of this. It means that it basically sets the Krogan birth rate to before they had an industrial revolution. You are correct, yep. Before it was easier for all of their offspring to survive because they laid litters of kids. Hmm. Huh. The way he sounds, it, make it makes it sound kind of like a good thing. Yeah. Well, I'm sure some people think of it as a good thing. I'm sure that Krogan. Uh, I'm sure the Krogans don't because they're more sterile-ish now. But the Turians and the Slarians did deploy it against them. That's true. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data here. If you need me. Are those like Beats headphones that you're wearing? Just one. One Beats headphone. Just, I'm just kind of throwing that one out there. I don't know what those are. <laughs> and we'll do the trauma module. And we'll do the ship enhancements. That allows you to completely heal your scars if you want to. Or you can That's a lot of money for something that I don't really care about. Yeah, it's all cosmetic. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. And now she's allowing you to get the advanced mineral scanner, 
So you can Which get, doesn't matter because I already have a mod on that gives you a broken amount of stuff. Yep. Okay. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. What? I don't understand uh, what you're referring she to. She wants whenever you have the time and resources to get that advanced mining ability. Oh, okay. Well, I assure you that that is not going to be yeah, a, a anything that we need. Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. That's because it's my operation, and not Cerberus. <laughs> Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How angry was he? How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's... A little hostile, just a little. That's a little hostile. Who exactly is your father? A businessman but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Does that hurt your self-esteem? You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Well, that's not what defines you! <laughs> Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Even though you said it in a snarky manner and in a high touch nasally voice. <laughs> that's a big old glass of water you got there. It's pretty filtered. How's that water taste? Is it kind of mineral -y? I hear they adjust the pH levels in it. <laughs> I don't know. I usually find that when I drink it, it kind of, like, a little while later, like, my throat will be really dry. Uh, Dr. Shock was keep saying this because I haven't drank water in a while. And also because I was dead for two years. And also because I was dead for two years. But I like to think that the water tastes funny. Anyway, tell me about your mom! <laughs> You've told me a lot about your father. <laughs> what happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. <laughs> Sounds like you might have inherited that. Ah, I'm gonna leave! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think I have anything else. How about that for a backstory? You're the, you're the gender bent, genetically engineered clone of your father. Why? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy your glass of water! Uh... Shepard, need me for something? I just want to talk to you, because you're cool. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. So, you're okay with us? You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What? What happened? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Ooh. 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 Maybe we can go find this guy. We can go find this guy or get a little bit of Wasteland Justice in. Give me the rundown. Put him down like Dr. Hart, you mean? Put him down like Dr. Hart. Why don't we, uh... You, uh, you still run any Dr. Hart plays lately? Well, by the way, I found out Dr. Hart was just an innocent doctor. But we'll just leave that in the past. We'll just we'll gloss over that. Give me the rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. 
and it didn't last long. Have you found him? Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Oh, I made him sad. We need to we need to seriously get you some new armor there, bud. Though that's uh that's your armor's pretty fucked up. Maybe he likes it messed up like and that. And also, I can't see the smiley face on the back of your armor. Yeah, anymore. the smiley face is gone because all the happiness has been sapped oh, out of him. Oh, Garrus, no, Garrus, we gotta get you a lady. I hear Miranda's available. She's gonna be single for quite a long time. I hear Miranda's available, and she's yeah, she's gonna be single for at least the entirety of this game. <laughs> Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. Nah, it's fine. You're cool. It's nice to see you let your hair down. It's already yes, down. I hadn't realized how much those feelings <laughs> needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? I want revenge! No, that's... I think that we... Those collectors killed me! Now it's time to repay them! Yeah! It's just like the beginning of Fallout New Vegas. I'm gonna find the guy that shot me in the face and shoot him in the face. Except, instead of it being one person, it's gonna be several thousand aliens. Yes! No, we have to save humanity. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. No, they don't! Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Well, with your pay scale... <laughs> I'll keep getting them. <laughs> she, I guess she doesn't have anything to say about Garrus. No. You do have that that option to buy a machine that'll cure all of the scars, but you said it was too expensive, so... Oh, yeah. oh well, fine. Wait, does that work on Garrus? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh. I was gonna say, if it works on Garrus, I'll fork all over the cash, man. <laughs> Garrus needs to look pretty. 